Frasier instrumental. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, podcast. <laughs> to my left, I got Anton Bonrenko. He just tapped the microphone. He didn't say it. Anything. To my right, I have... Scrambled eggs. The incredible... Edible. Ashgon. The egg. This, this is just be the intro. This is just be the intro to your Ashgon podcast. the egg. The Maddie. We have Dustin oh. peeing in the toilet. Eggs. They call me Ashcon Hamadi. Oh, how long are they gonna go with going. this fucking jazzy ass intro? I just wanted to keep going. Scrambled eggs. Oh yeah, seven ninety nine right now. They call me again. And if you order right now, you get a side of pimento, <laughs> two olives, a salami, and grits. Baguette and two hard boiled eggs. Put some cheese on it. Make that three hard boiled eggs. <laughs> we gotta keep this going so <laughs> fucking dusting gets here. Maybe I could play with the uh, speed. Yeah. Slow 180, down. 180, 87 all the way to 180. Yeah. Look, man. Hey, look at the treasure I found. No matter how, how long you play that song. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I scared the shit. I out thought of it me. was a dog, and then I realized. <laughs> it's what do you, how do you think I felt in these headphones? Hearing that shit amplified. Uh, hey, can you hear this? Look. Yeah. Oh. Treasure. Oh. Oh, you got to go at one of those. Shit. All right, we're going to a uh, pause the uh, podcast. And, no, do, it, do it live, baby, live. Okay. All right, well, we have an ashtray. What, 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 for what? For what? For the for surprise. What, I love radio, you know. <laughs> Can't see me. You ain't yeah. never heard me. Jesus. Which way did he go? Which way Wait, did, he did he go? go? All right, Ashkan, gonna... intro the uh, podcast, please. Thank you. When you loud, boy. Hello, oh, ladies, boy. gentlemen, and everything in between. You're all inclusive, Gen- bro. Gender is a spectrum. Sure. That's right. Aliens. Not. Have you learned the pronouns? No arthropods loud. Have you studied up? Oh, this pronouns? podcast isn't for arthropods? No. If you have an exoskeleton, fuck Sir. you. That's fucked up, bro. I'm sorry. I'm all about humans. And specifically, I'm only about middle class humans. <laughs> what, what about lower class folk? No. Okay, if you make less theory. than 34, no. Here's yeah, my, where's the cutoff? Here's my theory. The, the lower class is fucked always, no matter what. And the upper class, they're always going to be fine no matter what. So the only thing that is really something that might go away is the middle class. It's the only thing to fight for. I couldn't disagree more. What's the middle class? You, me, this guy, this guy. I don't think so. I think the middle class is fucked. Well, that's why... I think you guys are arguing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> bad perhaps, start. Perhaps bad somebody start. Somebody else should have that's the headphones. Why you, that's where you're spending <laughs> the yes. That's just because they're fucked. You, 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 think, you think everybody else sucks. I'm saying they're fucked. It's different. No, no. Everybody, Look, everybody, everybody living now. I think the poor and the rich have certain things that are better than what the middle class has. Things? Well, uh, the hmm. rich, you can probably have anything you want. The poor have a certain community, a certain bond, because they have to stick together. Have you ever seen like a poor neighborhood? Everybody knows everybody. Everybody supports everybody. There's also some violence. <laughs> some is such a relative term. Can you tell me how to get how to get to royalty on it? Yeah. Anyway, the point is, the punchline is. Yeah. <laughs> The middle class in my Who, stereotype. I'm sorry, let me stop you. Who the fuck are we to discuss this shit? Middle class, we're the middle class. But we're not sociology people. Kind of. <clears throat> There's the, oh man, that's... I'm, I almost remember what I, the topic I was going to bring to the table. Damn it. 
Table it. <laughs> table it. I forget. Hold on. Dustin knows it. Dustin, what is it? The top. No, I only knew. Yeah, he the only top. knew the one I remembered. That we already brought up? Yeah. Oh, okay. F. Do you guys ever feel that like we're not good. educated enough? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I have a question. I have a question. Fuck. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's good, it's good. Sorry, don't be it's so good. rude. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. I think you're good. It's just the headphones are loud. Maybe okay. You can listen, down a little bit. if you um had to go back to college, what would you study? I don't, uh, I wouldn't go back to college. Yes. I think I would study sociology. Damn. Risky. <laughs> Anton. Um. <laughs> Or yeah, art history. history. I think art history would just be super fun. Or English. It was I. I don't. I. I think I studied what I wanted to study. I. I wouldn't study something different. It's a big joint. Like this is a lot. Yeah. It's good. Did you? I puffed. I'm. I'm like done. <sighs> it's just a hobby that I picked up in the lobby. I've been thinking about something a lot lately, and it's this. It's kind of. It kind of relates to what you told me when I got here about always having things, cool things. Because it's like making shirts, doing this or that. Like, that's not my job. Those are just things that I do on the side, right? And I feel like more and more people I meet have these things that they do yeah. on the side that aren't their job, that don't pay money or do pay them some money but it's like more and more we have these like side jobs or other jobs or like side hustle exactly and then we call it a side hustle or a side gig or we work eight hours a day and then drive for uber or lyft in the evening and it's like that becomes the norm like now we don't call it working a 12 or 14 hour work day. We call it, that's my side hustle. No, you work a 16 hour day mm-hmm. and you're still making less than, than you should. So yeah. oh, what, what is your less. takeaway from that? I don't, I don't understand your... Well, the more, the more I was thinking about it, I was thinking like, are you deluding yourself by having like these multiple places of, of focus? Instead of just doubling down on one place, like are you losing integrity <coughs> by spreading yourself thin, or is it more beneficial to you to have like different? I don't know if specialties is the word, but like, is it beneficial to spread yourself out, or is it a detriment? I guess was what I was thinking about. Good question. Hmm. Have you uh, have are are any of you guys familiar with uh, Eddie Huang? The cook. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, have you watched his interviews? No. Okay, so I have to send you guys. I need you guys to watch Eddie Huang interviews. He is an Asian-born American. I've been like indulging in him heavy lately. Uh, Asian-born American who grew up in like a really tough. Um, like life environment and uh, he was like a thug and he he's done everything he's a lawyer so he got his what is it MBA is that no what shit. lawyers get no you get your uh, law degree <laughs> he got his law degree I don't know where I'm going with this Dustin we were talking about diluting yourself being beneficial or detrimental so he's tried a I lot of things I think some people could do one thing and some people could do many things right actually so but I think I think the key is to this is my opinion. Mm-hmm. You have to be good. At, you have to be a master at one or two things. Okay. And then that's like the base. And I'm just speaking. I'm just thinking out loud because th- my mind could change tomorrow. So you, like Eddie Huang, like his his base is like he's a chef, and he's a writer. Right. And all the millions of other things he's done, like he's been a TV producer. He's been a um, like he has a show on Vice where he was basically like an Anthony Bourdain type. We're based off those two strengths. So I think you have to have one or two things that you put your 10,000 hours into. Mm-hmm. And off that, um, what's the thing that holds up a building? 
foundation. foundation. Off that foundation, you can um, <laughs> Jesus. Off that foundation, you can uh, build. So that's my personal theory. I was kind of thinking along those same lines because I kept trying to think of an example of of a successful person, and there's there's plenty of like, especially entrepreneurs that right. are, you know the most famous entrepreneurs are do have multiple businesses and do seem to be like masters of many trades but is that is that just what it seems like and maybe the mastery is just running a business or being personable kind of like what you're saying like having two of those skills which are like management and delegation maybe and then it just well, from the outside looks like they do 12 different things we we talked about chance earlier in the last podcast uh -huh. he's a communications major right that's not his job. <laughs> right. What is his job? It's like a fucking He's web a, developer. Pro, yeah, developer. Program, yeah. right? But his foundation is communications. And if you really look at... There's a, a, probably a lot of people that could do what he does, but his foundation, like what he's really... He's fucking officiating a wedding tomorrow. It takes a natural orator or a trained, a trained orator to do that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so once you find your base and like what you're really good at, yeah, I think you can build on it. Now, once again, I said this is a working theory, mm -hmm. and apply it. Um, so once you could like build that, it's almost like, like <laughs> we smoke a towel and we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a uh, when you're building your body, you have to build a core first, right. I mean, yeah, like, speaking from the physics point of view, yes. I mean, skills are versatile, you know, right. like, uh, just seeing, like, what some of the people I went to school with went into, it's kind of all over the place. And communication is important for all of them. Communication is important for every job. Attitude, Every yeah. single job. Attitude. That's not true, though. I would... You can most be good jobs. at something without being a good communicator, like an accountant. If you're good at punching you numbers. You probably still got to communicate, man. You got to, like, talk to your coworkers. A lot of people don't have the skills. This is a huge problem in physics. Yeah, I'm sure not just physics. Uh, but but the people you work with who aren't good, you're, you're in the, um, you're an outlier in that you're really good at communicating and you're really good at the uh, right, left-sided, right side, the logistical side. But even mm. those who aren't good communicators are still successful. You know... Not by I, your standards, here's but they are successful. Yeah, but you mm. got to define... Like, if nobody can understand what they're working on... And this happens a lot in academia, too. Like, very few people have any idea what this person's talking about. The and how many have actually true. gone through their papers and deciphered exactly what they did. You know they'll they'll go to their conference to the conference and they'll listen they'll listen to the talk. Salesmanship, Put but there's no there's shit. not even salesmanship. Right, Put there's just a poor presentation. Right, I've seen so many terrible terrible presentations. Don't you have to put some sex in that shit? What happens? No Why? one listens. It's no, hard to tell. Fancy. It's hard to tell. Like so, it's really hard to tell. I I still can't really interpret it. My feeling is that a lot of people don't admit how little they understood of it. That's really my belief. Oh my God. Is that what's, hap is that what's happening? Oh. And this is after a lot of conferences of being there. It's not like, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just what I, that's what I gather. Pomp and circumstance. Pomp and oh, circumstance. It's just, okay, the, the downfall of mankind is going to be men's ego. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like without a doubt. Just and greed in general, like greed, it, it, like it baffles me. Why? Why are people so greedy? But could we be called greedy? Yeah. Why do we flush the toilet? <laughs> oh, shit, this again? <laughs> Did I bring this up in the last podcast? I don't know if it was on a podcast, but you brought it up with me. How come when we go to oh, toilet, we put God. water, we, we put butt in, and the water go bye-bye. <laughs> in Russia, we let, we go poop, we go pee, we go, the woman, when she's on her, when, 
It's probably it's probably an instinct to stay away from waste. But why do we waste a gallon of perfectly clean oh, water? Man, that's different. I Fuck think a low-flow toilet. It's all about that five-gallon. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't agree with you on that shit. That's fine. You're a very wasteful human. Let's I talk love, about your wasteful I love way. waste. I love waste. <laughs> Dude, you would love I Asia. don't recycle. You just pour some water in the toilet. It, like, you don't even... You don't even have to. Like, I still would love Dubai. They like <laughs> they throw their fucking cutlery away after each use. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like the it leads the world in like people that stepped on knives. <laughs> That's the fast track to the end, right? That's I've just... been to Dubai. It was I was I right. <laughs> You've been to Dubai? Yeah, it was I. Right. Damn. It's so hot. <laughs> it's just skyscrapers in the sand, from what I've seen. It's just. Ugh, I didn't like it. It was right. so man-made. Everything is. It was way too man-made. It was I, like, I picked did up you an see Arab. some sheiks and Lamborghinis? I'd love to see that. Sheiks and Lamborghinis. Yeah. Sheiks she- she- and Lamborghinis. <laughs> sheiks and Lamborghinis. We did sheiks and Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis. Tony, give it the Alice. Sheiks and Lamborghinis. Sheiks and Lamborghinis. Sheiks and Lamborghinis. We did sheiks and Lamborghinis. Sheiks and Lamborghinis. We did sheiks and Lamborghinis. Fuck yo, weenie. I'm a sheik and Lamborghini. I'm a guinea. I'm a guinea. I'm a sheik and Lamborghini. Sheik and Lamborghini. I'm a sheik and Lamborghini. I'm a sheik and Lamborghini. Sheik and Lamborghini. That drone was perfect. <laughs> you killed that Dude, I drum. love hearing this in the, in the headphones. <laughs> very, very Middle Eastern drumming right there. You play that like, Let's do it one more time, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, the people want more, please. Okay. One, hey, two, they call me Habibi, I'm a chicken <laughs> Lamborghini. <laughs> they call me Habibi, I'm a chicken <laughs> Lamborghini. Tony, chicken uh, Lamborghini. Shit, chicken Lamborghini. Chicken Lamborghini. Uh, I'm a chicken uh, 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 Lamborghini. Uh, uh, Name shit, is shit. Habibi, I'm a chicken Lamborghini. Damn. Sheiks and Lamborghinis is a fucking hit, bro. And the bitch at the end takes off her chic. Or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the sheik, <laughs> yeah, the sheik is yes. the prince. Chador, chador. <laughs> no, the bitch takes off her sheik. What do they call it? Where the Arabs wear the whole fucking thing? You tell me. <laughs> you burka. tell me. Hey, the bitch take off her burqa only to reveal a whole other burqa. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's I bet you want to know why down. we call them hoes bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you want to know why we call them hoes bitches. Like that was the nineties. <laughs> they don't, you just, they don't get it. Wait, how do we jump from burkas to the nineties? I missed something. <laughs> the bitch takes off her burka. It reveals another burka. Sure. Holy shit, you guys! We spiraled <laughs> off into that. The bitch took off her burka. There better be like a ten-hour loop of that, of a good chunk of that song. <laughs> she and Lamborghinis. I just want to see the video, bro. I just want to see the video. Oh man, the, you know the videos you know are gonna be bad, is if it has the director's name at the very, 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 very beginning. Yeah. With oh. the drone, with like drone footage, it, like it drone footage, matter. like editor name. M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> Until his later movies, where like you, you told me they I'm not, I'm not talking about feature films. I'm talking about like shitty. Listen, like we're not gonna pass up the opportunity to shit on M like Shyamalan, right? Oh, so stop oh, acting like we're gonna do what that. Talking about he's making a comeback, man. I like M Night Shyamalan. Is he? You've always defended him, Ashcon. You are you are consistent. I like yeah, now he's got. Oh, really? Now he's got Split was a hit, and now he's got Glass coming out. Damn, I haven't seen any of this. I've not seen one M. Night Shyamalan movie. Oh, it's the trilogy. The Unbreakable trilogy. <laughs> but you recommend oh, it. You're being st- oh, I would no. never, no. Okay. Huh. I don't think I've seen another one. I, like, I saw The Sixth Sense, and then I heard he sucks now, you and I just jumped on the You haven't seen you Lady, uh, Lady in the Water? No. Wait, no, I saw Signs. Oh, I saw Signs. <laughs> Watch, uh, <laughs> I just realized, like that After whole. Earth, that's a real. Have you seen Lady in the Water? Number one. Is it good? What was I the, liked it. What was Damn. the new but one I like where the lady was like creatures of water, shape of water? I was that, that good? That was Benicio yeah, del Toro. Yes, yes, yes. What about yes, yes. 
Oh, Guillermo. you mean I want to watch that Guillermo. shit. Oh, Guillermo. Oh, Guillermo. Lo siento. Lo siento, lo siento. Yes. <laughs> lo siento. <laughs> Do you feel like maybe we're passing up on... In my experience, the super dope movies go under the radar. Yep. Like Some the of them. super, super dope. And, and, Waterworld. And they suck. I love Waterworld. <laughs> I love Waterworld. You're, oh, Dude, you, you love Lady Waterworld. in the Water. Damn. Yeah. If I love Waterworld, I love Waterworld. These are like very different movies. <laughs> nah. It's not worse, water. bro. Water, water. All right, I'll watch it. So it's about water. Definitely. Yeah. It sounds creepy. Like, it sounds like there's a woman coming out of the water. That's like a creepy <laughs> there's concept There's always like to me. the M. Night Shyamalan twist. Oh, of course. You know? Of course. The, the twist. I it's think the concept of that, that movie is it was a, he wanted to write his own bedtime story for his kids. Oh, very And then he made done. a movie out of it. I think Destin should oh. say more shit. <laughs> wait, wait, Why? wait, wait, hold on. He's a treasure he, trove. He wanted... Such a treasure trove. <laughs> like, everything's, every time he says, I'm so profound. He, he doesn't just spill bullshit <laughs> yeah. like I do. <laughs> yeah, or me. Wait. Destin, what else have you been thinking <laughs> <That's>, about? <laughs> oh, I, had, I just had one. Um, Dang. Oh, it, it was about how you had asked me what the best show is. Yes. And how you were saying that the best movies go under the radar. Yeah. It's because now we're in, inundated with things and the really high quality shows, high quality movies, yeah. the best, everybody's, there's music everywhere, right? So with the rise of YouTube and like the internet star, does that mean that celebrity will fall into less like of a, of a very focused yes. spotlight yeah. and now there's more of a broad yeah. light on yeah. people yeah so maybe like entertainment as an industry will widen its birth and it wouldn't Correct. be such a ludicrous thing for you to tell your parents i want to be an actor or a musician like whereas 20 years ago that would be like great hmm. we'll never that's, talk to you again yeah, like one way it could go it. i mean I have, with music that's happening for sure the problem is, I, 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 just to be a negative Nancy, the problem with that is that less talented people True. get put on. There's yeah. much more noise. It's more to sift through. Right. Yeah. Like, to me, like, Jennifer Lawrence, she's a pretty talented know. actress. Will Smith is a pretty talented actor. Like, they're popular, but they've kind of earned it. And then once you go more niche, like, there's a lot of, like, actors and musicians where, like, if you see them live, you're like, you're trash. Or like comedian, like, well, dude. I don't know if I agree with what you're saying, because in the world where there is no internet and everybody's sharing, uh, it's even more of a lottery. There's a ton of talent that goes unrecognized. Mm -hmm. So with that crap that goes up, there's also a lot of undiscovered talent that, Great point. that goes up. Great point, but it's consistency. Anyone could do something once. But it's almost like you said niche. So maybe you know those small pockets of of categories. Those people can rise through the ranks of their own category. Yeah. Like maybe you seek that specific thing out, right. and then those a certain type of right. Like so the competition comedian. would exist in those spaces. Well, like, I think we're headed there. Well, all right. I always I love to come back to my universal theory of uh, if it's, it's cyclical. Like, if you're gonna yeah. say cyclical, I'm not gonna let you talk. Look, all right, it gets bigger and bigger like a bubble, <laughs> do, 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 and then it pops into many little bubbles. Right. And then these grow, and then some of them take over. Damn, that's you're so visual. Why don't you paint more? Oh, uh, I should. You should. I will. I painted today. For real? Yeah. Oh, well, oh shit. I'm proud of you, bro. Thanks. Damn. Does he have a painting on Is that a thing? Is that a thing? You just like show your no, he had, hand he had, of paint? Yeah, yeah. It was nice, a small nice. note that says, shut the fuck up. I think we're going there, Dustin. So we just yeah. have monoculture where Wait, everyone watches me... David Letterman. Everyone watches. Who's the right. old ass fucker? There were four Who channels the on TV. fuck watches David Letterman? What? Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Oh, <laughs> was that such shit. a Was that wow. such a thing to say? That All right, just, bro. Yeah. Um, you watched David you Letterman. You need a two minute timeout. You bro. watched David Letterman. David Letterman but anyway, what I was going to say is. <laughs> it becomes, God. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Disrespecting David Letterman with your fucking. Next, you're going to tell me uh, everybody watches Jimmy Fallon. I know that's what you're going to say next. No, bro. Oh, man, you're comparing a lot Jimmy of people Fallon to do David though. Letterman. Who did you? Uh, you're an asshole. Yeah, so it. 
yes, it's big, 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 big. Then you have your Walmart, and then eventually Walmart pops. Tony makes sound because, effects because people say "fuck Walmart" or "hold on, start your sentence again with the Walmart." And then eventually Walmart collapses. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking genius. This guy's a fucking so genius. So quick, man. Yeah. Tony had his finger in his pop mouth. He was gonna pop it. Yeah, <laughs> it's my only sound effect. It was my, is a totally accident. So what I is wasn't the, even thinking what about What is that. the cycle? After I the swear. Verse. I swear. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's. <laughs> fucking perfect. That's what I was trying to remember. Is mishearing shit that accidentally turns out to be like its own thing or even better. Oh, that's cool. I love But damn, I, I've been thinking about that a lot. That was the topic. That's a really hard topic to like think of though. <laughs> well, do you have an ex- like how obviously. do you think of an example of that? Well, one just happened, but besides that, I mean <laughs> the fuck? Fuck. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a break right now. Welcome to the no. podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, put that shit on. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, guys, thank you very much for doing the uh, podcast. We're going to break for a um, quick uh, sponsor. We have. Um, Vapes. Do you like being a hipster? Do you have tattoos of Martin Pollock and whoever else um, this tattoo guy has on his arms? Do you um, have issues with your mother because she was a total bitch? Smoke a vape <laughs> at vape.com. 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 Type in the words the uh to get your 15% discount. You could be smoking um, watermelon, vanilla, seaweed flavored vape in no time. Thank you for listening to the podcast and we welcome you back. Thank you. If you are a, uh, I'm a. Uh. Ashkan, I love your conversation starters. Let me just pick right up of that. Dustin, what else are you even thinking about? I'm tired of these guys. I feel like everything I, just, I think about is just a complaint. A complaint about something. That's, yeah. that's perfect for this yeah. podcast. Oh, that's, that's most of the things like that we can do. Have podcast. you heard this podcast, man? It's mostly complaints. Yeah, yeah. I hope not. Hmm. I would love. That's enough. What was your that's enough list? Who's on your that's she enough list? She fucking yeah, put yeah, Danny yeah. DeVito on the that's enough uh, list. No, that's I regret good. it, all right? <laughs> ah, I listened to that podcast like three times. and no, I, I love, I'm an I love that choice. Who's no, on your that's enough very, list? It's very uh, contrarian, I, which I, mm. I encourage. I encourage contrarian Ash behavior. Contrarian. <laughs> I, I right. would go, I'm going to go back to the talk well, show contrarian. host. I wasn't, you know what? I was gonna say Jimmy Fallon, but I might just say talk show host in general. That's enough. Okay. We're Even dead. Conan and his remotes. Are you over that? That's the one yeah. thing I'm not over. I, that's enough. They're all fine, and the new ones are fine, and they'll continue to be fine. But who? We don't need fine. Who Is it because they're not risque enough in their monologues? Like very just <laughs> generic, know. generic shit. Like I, if you compare what an average comedian says to those monologues it's like you know it's like candy it's like i think comedians are evolving like the the way we the way that like stand-up comedy in particular is delivered is is changing but talk show talk shows are kind of just the same they always have been right what's the formula pretty much they use their formula monologue and it works activity interview right Right? Isn't that how it always goes? Tony, what's on your that's yeah. enough list? Besides the ones I've already said? Yeah. Fuck. It could go across anything. Can I get a quick nice. recap? Yeah, so sure. uh, Paul Rudd that's was enough. said. Yeah, that's enough, that's Paul enough. Rudd. Mike, enough. Michael Sarah. White boy. Michael enough. Sarah, we get it. You got curly hair. You're awkward. Yeah. That's um, enough. That's um, enough. Um, that's um, enough. That's um, enough. Um, uh, who else got said? Elon Musk. That's enough. Uh, 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 the space out there. That's enough, Elon Musk. Shut the yeah. fuck up. Build some <laughs> cars. We get it. You want to go to Mars? God damn right. it. Yeah. Right. You're, the, you're the modern day Tony yeah. Stark. Get the fuck out of here. All right. What? I meant that sarcastically. All right. Because anyone's the modern day Tony Stark, it's me. I knew. I knew. See, that's why Ashgun hates Elon Musk. Because Ashgun wants to be Elon Musk. Wow. I'll never say that again. 
you're a couple, that's a a couple billion short. In the all right, all right. What else? What else? Who else that's do you think that's enough? Of it. I don't. Do uh, I gotta. I gotta think about. It. How about that's enough, Paul Manafort? You know, like like that's, that's enough, enough, Paul Manafort. Manafort. Enough. Nobody knows what you did wrong, that's Paul enough. Manafort. That's enough. Yeah. I say that's enough, grand jury. Yeah, grand jury. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. We understand yeah. you're grand. We understand you're grand jury. Get the fuck out of here. That's yeah. enough. Stop judging. Can I, as yeah. a liberal, I'm sure you guys will all jump on this. Liberal media, that's enough. Mm-hmm. We get it, liberal media. Yeah. Everyone's equal. We get it, liberal media. People are racist. We get it. And hey, what do you guys think oh, about this? Yeah, I got, that's I got, enough liberal can media. I say another one? Out of yeah. Here. That's this enough. Is another Drake. That? I'm, I'm getting oh. to. Drake is still around? <laughs> <laughs> You're emotional, Drake. We get it. That's enough. Only yes, because there's enough. a radio station in LA. That only half of the hits they play, it's top forty, and half of them have Drake on them. Wow. It's, it's a, it's, it's enough. That's enough. It's Drake. enough. Yeah. Drake, get the fuck off the radio. Play some yeah. smooth jazz shit. That's enough, Drake. Yeah. Do some, do some more non-radio shit. Yeah. As deep cuts, as you would call them. Do more some deep, deep cuts, cuts. Drake. Yeah. All right. He's uh, capable. Of that's it. enough. CFCs. What is that? Chlorofluorocarbons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn, four four old colors taking over my life. God oh, damn it, why do you seep it when I'm making my tea? That's enough. Is that the plastic warning? Uh, it's like they're just bad. Spr- aerosols have them, right? Yeah, uh, the greenhouse. Like they're very, very highly MSG. greenhouse gassy. Yeah. Very greenhouse. Gassy. Enough greenhouse gas. That's There's enough. a proposal, like if you ever wanted to terraform Mars, you would have to I shoot wouldn't. a. Well, Elon Musk. You know why? <laughs> That's uh, enough terraform Mars. Mars is whack. We've discussed this. We have already covered it's that. It's all about Mercury. We have already covered. That's no, right. It's all about Earth, dummy. Well, yeah, We're just revisiting course. old old. That's enough here. space travel. Just enjoy Earth. Yeah, just go in the ocean. Just go um, in the ocean. But what about global warming? Then I love. Oh, we could just hide in the ocean. Look, yeah, it can rise. We can combat it. The, all right, the Earth is going to be fine. The Earth can is we fine. Build Wait, is your claim? Are you saying that's enough to global warming right now? No, my claim like, is that no, my claim is instead of going straight to space travel, let's build in Mars. No, let's build more intelligently on Earth. Yeah, let's feed who we have here. Like, what is the thing? Neil called? deGrasse Tyson said that if we can terraform Mars, we can certainly improve Earth. Exactly. So, that, what's yeah. the thing called? The atmosphere. Yes. Build a new fucking atmosphere. Exactly. See, that's what I You want to go to Mars, like fucking build a new atmosphere. Now you're, now you're talking about Tony Stark's but it's Enterprise. Not as, it's not as pioneering, you know? It's, it doesn't have as much human about, spirit. I don't care about pioneering. Get, it doesn't I care get about as much money behind it. No. I care about functionality. Well, I don't care about pioneering. You don't believe in the human spirit? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's a hot, hot seat. Hot seat. That's like... <laughs> You don't believe in the human spirit? I was the first one that wanted to go to war. Dustin, how do you feel about <laughs> like, the... You don't want to go to war, you're oh, dead. Oh, oh. Can, I, can we grill Dustin? I want to You hate Dustin. America. <laughs> yeah. You want to start a t-shirt company. Too late. He already has. Yes. Okay, Tight. so can, come on. Be negative for... Can you be negative for a second? <laughs> be negative. About, about what? Him starting a t-shirt company. Jesus, that's, that's asking a lot right now. Okay, you're starting a t-shirt company. Yes. How Fuck many- that. <laughs> Good job, Tony. Good job. You're doing great, Tony. Everyone, you know, let's, uh, let's all like welcome our guests. There's like a t-shirt companies out there. Yes. So wh- who the fuck are you to start a t-shirt company? Man, that's a good question. That's a good question. Let's go ahead and take a break right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you we'll to the uh, podcast. The I'd it. like to uh, scramble the eggs. Ah. Hold on, hold on, man. That's a good idea. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, listening to the uh, podcast. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce a, a brand new sponsor called Steg Wow. It's a t-shirt company by Dustin Hartley. Wow. Wow. Steg. Wow. Let's get all four of us. Steg. Wow. wow. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize that awesome yeah. t-shirt was yours this whole time. That's awesome. This is a great yeah. advertisement. All right, one more time. Steg. Wow. wow. There's an A in there. You got a, it's a stega. Oh, sorry. Steg? Stega wow. Yeah, well, he doesn't want to get a fucking royalty on it. Got it. All right, guys, thank you for listening to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. so you're in position to stega wow.com to get your brand new t shirt. And wow. uh, welcome back to the uh, podcast. But not for free. Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> how you like that for The last line of the advertisement. <laughs> but not for free. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, like Jay Jabs. <laughs> American <laughs> Furniture House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not for free. Like, come get a love seat, you get a pillow for free. <laughs> but not for free. <laughs> Still the tiger. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's that Denver niche shit. That joke was just for death rights yeah, on the like podcast. Yeah, celebrity fun. Eight hundred two. What? What? Oh, is it like that? <laughs> that furniture guy? You know? Yeah, Jake, Jake Jabs. Jabs. Yeah, you know who's talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Jake Jabs. In fact, I'm talking about him. Yeah, that guy. That guy had some balls, you know. Yeah, putting man. those lions on those couches. <laughs> Do you remember that? I know. You guys, you know him, don't you? <laughs> oh my god! Your family. I love knows being him. accused of like. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm totally with Tony on this one. <laughs> you seem like you're a family okay. who would be friends with Jake Jack. <laughs> I no, no. In fact, I've I'm willing to put so. Before. I'm willing to bet so much on this that I've Ashkan, seen him in the Ashkan, story. I was about to say Ashkan not Ashkan, our story. I was going to say Ashkan not Ashkan our Jake Jack story. Not our story. They both set up at the at same American time. American Furniture Warehouse. Yeah, I knew you had a Jake oh, Jack story. Okay. I was just a kid, and I was like, oh. No, dude, he shops at your store. I heard this story. I hope. I mean, I I don't think so. He has a furniture store, bro. If you have a Jake doesn't Jack have rugs. story, this doesn't have rugs. Gotta put rugs but he has, somewhere. Yeah, under furniture. Jake Jabs he doesn't shop. With Jake us. Jabs is a um, Denver furniture seller who does these hilarious, terrible commercials where he pets exotic animals in his furniture shop. It's like, is he still at it? Is he still in that game? Yeah. Damn. So he's like a local celebrity. I don't know if he's like. I think got, he died. I'm gonna Google it. Jesus. Uh, uh, well, I think his like grandchildren do the ads now, but maybe just because he can't. You know. Vladim, do you see Jake Job? You know, furniture in Russia, you have table, you have chair. That's what. What do you want? Because you have you bed. Pour the you tea sleep. Out of your samovar, you put tea. Vladim, Vladim, <laughs> take take a shot. Calm down. You you don't know what you're talking. All right, guys. For the <laughs> hey, wait. I have a question. In, uh, all right. I have a question about Russian. Every uh, all my Russian friends that have learned like English, but they still they're still fobs. They always yes. make this mistake. Oh, I know. When I will be coming there, something something. When I when will. I will. Be, when I will be uh, finished. Instead of when I am finished. No, the I'm. Hold on, man. I make that mistake. That's not a mistake. No, the I'm. What was the I'm? You say when I will be finished. That's that's legit. Mm. There's nothing the wrong with that. Could <laughs> no, what the, the mystery could. No, what's the mystery could? Like what's I'm. wrong with that sentence? The hookah girl. What did correct. the hookah girl say? It was like I'm. Uh, oh my god. We gotta get it. Yeah, yeah. It like makes sense grammatically, but it doesn't at all. It's like um. Oh my god. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. As of February 2018, Jake Jabs is still alive. He's 84. Dang. Shout out Jake Jabs. So Yo, the, the can I make a wild prediction? By the time we do our next podcast, Jake Jabs is going to be dead. Dude. Dang. That's dark, bro. But if it's if it works, hot take, he's hot a take. Denver that should be hero. Lit. That should be lit. And we'll have the ghost of Jake Jabs on as a guest. As our podcast. Fuck yeah. And oh, we'll, guys, and oh, we'll shit, do sorry. a plug. And we'll do a plug for I just American got a, Furniture Warehouse. I just got a Warehouse. Google alert. Oh, my God. Guys, Jake Jabs is dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too soon. Well, I quit. Too soon. I was going to do a Jake Jabs well, I thought you were going to do a Jake Jabs commercial. Like, I don't know what Jake Jabs is. Come to America. Like. One of our podcast <laughs> sponsors. You ever need a pet of line on top of your couch? <laughs> Welcome to American Furniture Warehouse. Where we got line. <laughs> God damn. This sounds pretty good for 84. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Oh. We gotta figure out that. He's not a fucking I know. cowboy. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to the uh, podcast. Sorry, this was such a I disheveled, crazy pothead episode. I hope you can keep track. We had four people on this one. And one so anyway, goes. yeah, it is. It is tough starting a t-shirt company <laughs> in a sea of <laughs> other t-shirt companies, but. <laughs> it's kind of he finally kind got of his like, mission statement going. Why does anyone do anything, you know? Like, why does anyone do anything? There's a million of Stig a wow. Why does anyone do anything? Oh, I take that actually. That's it's not bad. bad. Oh, what do you guys think of a mobile hookah business? Sounds flammable. <laughs> True.
<laughs> Thank you for listening to the podcast. Hey, talk to you later. Hey, we'll talk about that after the show. Wink. Yep. <laughs>